Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, some have asked me what 26H1 would bring as new features in uh, the um, Snapdragon ARM processors. Um, many manufacturers have said that when they launch their new uh, products with the Snapdragon X2, um, it will come with 26H1. And there are many uh, PC manufacturers that did say their PCs will be upgraded to 26H1 with the uh, mostly Snapdragon and Copilot Plus PC. So this is specific for hardware that has ARM architecture as the CPU in it. So regular folks like us that are on X64 will never see 26H1. But... Um, first of all, absolutely nothing new right now on 26H1, uh, even though it is on the Canary build of the Insider Rings. It doesn't have new features, and there's no real talk about new features. It seems to be more like a tweak of what the Copilot Plus PCs will have and the IPCs and all the PCs running Snapdragon ARM processors. That said, Microsoft did say that some of the features that might show up on 26H1 will also show up on 26H2, which means that for some of us that are, well, most of us that are going to get 26H2 next year, well, this year, at the end of this year, um, we'll get some new features that 26H1 is getting. So... What it says in effect is that the update itself is only for the ARM PCs, but the features that might show up is not only for 26H1. So there are going to be some 26H2 features. We also know that Microsoft is working on getting some AI features that were specific for Copilot Plus PCs into our own x64 environment so that means that we will get some uh, features for sure here uh, at some point so that's going to be something to check out so uh, this is coming of course in the uh, future of uh, windows this year uh, 26h1 will be uh, in april microsoft did say released in april and 26h2 of course in the fall later this year for uh Northern Hemisphere, I, I hate to say fall because it's uh, it's spring in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, towards the end of the year, September, October. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.